Hello everybody, welcome to another Yellow Chair Devotional. It's time for another science experiment and then we'll open up our Bibles and see what else we can learn about God the Master Scientist. So I'm going to bring our camera down. I'm hoping that we're going to be able to see this one pretty good, but it could be a little tricky. Now what I've got here is I've got a glass bowl, I used a pie pan, and it's got some water in it, okay? I put it on this white cutting board in hopes of you being able to see easier than on my countertop. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a whole bunch of pepper. I'm gonna use black pepper, and I'm just gonna sprinkle that pepper on there. Okay, let's add some more. All right, so it's floating on top, right? You're able to see that, I think. We'll bring the camera a little bit closer. Okay, but there's my peppery water. Okay. Now, some of the heavier pieces sunk to the bottom, but most of this pepper is just floating and it's spread all across here. We've talked in a lot of our other experiments about surface tension, right? And just these forces, the density, and how it's just floating on there. It is spread across the surface of the water. Now, I'm gonna take some dish soap and I'm gonna put a little on my finger and let's see what happens when I touch the water. Ready? Watch the pepper. There it goes. Is it like magic? And if I put my finger out, then it's gonna push it and push it and push it. Push and push and push. What if I come close to this stuff? Ooh, it's like I have the force. Now this soap, is disrupting the surface tension, all right? Because think about our soap, when we use it for cleaning stuff, what is it doing? Well, it's got these bubbles that'll float on top of the water, but it's all about disrupting whatever gunk I'm trying to clean off of dishes, all the dirt. And so it has disrupted the surface tension and it sent our pepper poof, scurrying away scurrying away all right so what does this have to do with god what do you think well in our bibles we see quite a bit a description of our enemy mm, we all have an enemy we have a common enemy right satan the devil right the enemy and the enemy does not want us to realize that we're part of God's family. The enemy doesn't want us to know how loved and special we are. The enemy doesn't want us to dwell in Jesus' sacrifice on the cross for you and me, meaning that now we can rest and look forward to being with our friend Jesus forever and ever. And so there's a lot of different verses in the Bible. There's a verse in James where it talks about if we resist the devil, the devil will flee. The devil will flee from us. There's other verses that talk about the devil and describe him here. I'm in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 8. Look at what they describe the enemy as. It says, 1 Peter 4, 8. Oh, I'm sorry. 1 Peter 5, 8. I was looking at the wrong section here. 1 Peter 5, 8. Control yourselves and be careful. The devil is your enemy. And he goes around like a roaring lion looking for someone to eat. Refuse to give in to the devil. Stand strong in your faith. You know that your Christian brothers and sisters all over the world are having the same sufferings you have, right? Is the enemy attacking our entire world? Is it attacking everybody? Yeah, yes. And so verse 10, yes, you might suffer for a short time, but God will make everything right. He will make you strong. He will support you and keep you from falling. He is the God who gives all grace. He called you to share in his glory in Christ. That glory will continue forever. All power is his forever and ever. Amen. And so Peter really, he wraps up this letter that he wrote there with this picture of saying, hey, the enemy is out there, but 
Don't give in. You can stand strong against the enemy, just like that soap broke the tension and sent the pepper scurrying because God will make everything all right. And is it us being like, okay, how do I get strong? I need to work up my muscles so I can be strong against the enemy. Is that how it works? It says, God will make you strong. He will support you and keep you from falling. He is the God who gives all grace and he called you to share in his glory in Christ. It's all because of God. God is the one who strengthens us against the enemy. God is the one who holds us and supports us and loves on us when we're suffering, when we're struggling with the, the enemy's attacks. God is the one who does it all, and that is amazing news. And so next time that you feel like you're under attack, you feel like that roaring lion is coming after you, just remember where our strength comes from. Remember who is on our side, who shows us all love and grace, no condemnation, no guilt, no shame, all love and grace. And just like that simple motion, that soap sent that pepper scurrying away. That's the power of Jesus in you and me to resist the enemy. Resist the enemy and he will flee. And we call on Jesus, there's no place for darkness when there's light. I'm so glad that we have that light named Jesus. Let's say a prayer and close our time together. Dear God, it is hard. The enemy is out to get us all and it just sometimes feels like we're under attack, but you are the one who strengthens us and supports us. You help us resist and send the enemy whew, scurrying away just like that pepper. We're so thankful for your love and your grace that fills us and supports us through all of it, knowing that we can rest in you and we don't have to worry about the enemy. His power is gone because we have you. We thank you for your love in your name. Amen. All right. There are some discussion questions in the video description below if you want to dive a little bit deeper into the science experiment. And I hope you have a great rest of your day knowing that you've got all the power of heaven on your side so we don't have to worry about the enemy. He goes scurrying just like that pepper. I'll see you next time.